Hi, how are you doing? Uh, this is me again, Tony, and this is another video for you on YouTube. Today, as I had promised you, I'm going to um, give you uh, some uh, uh, Phoenician vocabulary um, lesson. Uh, we're going to discuss or talk about 15 words that appeared in the Temple Tariff inscription uh, on in its both sides, side A and side B. So the first word I'm going to talk about today is the word uh, Yirah. Yirah in Phoenician means uh, months and it is actually the same in Hebrew and it reads in Hebrew uh, Yirah. Uh, in Arabic it's Shahar, in French it's uh, Mois, in English it's months. The uh, second uh, word uh, is the word etanim, etanim, and it is the seventh month of the Phoenician calendar corresponding to these days to September or October, and it is the same in Hebrew, etanim. Third word is the word hodish, hodish. It is actually the new moon or the beginning of the month. It's Hodesh in Hebrew. The fourth word we're going to learn today is the word um, Adomim or Adamim. And it's a plural of the word Adom or Adam. And it means, as you may know, uh, persons or men or uh, son of men and it's Adamim in Hebrew the word Adom Adomim first word we're going to learn today is the word uh, Narim it's the plural of Nar and this word also exists in Hebrew and it means young men or young men and the plural is young men young servitors or um, just a young man. It's, uh, it's Nar or Narim in Hebrew. In uh, Arabic, uh, probably in classical Arabic, the word would be Ghulam or Ghulman, young man. Sixth word is the word Paulim, Paulim. Uh, and these are workers or workmen. It's poelim in Hebrew and uh, it's the plural of poel or pal in Phoenician. The seventh word that we're going to learn today is the word yom, beyom ze, in this day or on this day. And it's Bayom there in Hebrew. So Yom is the day for uh, the word for the day, and it's the same in modern day um, uh, Lebanese uh, Yom. In Arabic, it's Al Yom. Uh, Aujourd'hui, ce jour in French. The eighth uh, word that we're going to learn today is the word Maim. Maim. It's Maim in Hebrew, Maim in Phoenician. It's the word for waters, or water. The ninth word we're going to learn today is the word Almot. Almot. It's Alma in Hebrew. And it means a young uh, woman or a maiden or a young woman before marriage. Um, we're going to talk about this word in um, the next, um, in my next video when I discuss um, uh, 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 prostitution or sacred prostitution um, in the Phoenician word. The tense word we're going to learn today is the word um, Kelebba or Kaleb, and the plural of it is Kelbim or Kalbim. In Hebrew, it's Kelev or Kelevim. And this 
word is the Phoenician word Kelev or Kaleb or Kelb uh, or Kilb is um, the word for dog and it's actually um, uh, it comes from two words Ki which is like and Leb which means heart so the, the dog is like my heart which means um, that this word has been given to dogs because dogs were um, friends and uh, protectors of uh, ancient uh, men and that's why they in, in uh, Semitic languages um, they have chosen this word for this animal um, we, going, we are going to talk also uh, in detail about this word and what it means in the context of this inscription uh, as some uh, scholars um, think this word might uh, be uh, a word that describes um, uh, homosexual uh, uh, passive men um, or sacred male prostitutes in the temple but we're gonna uh, talk about that in my future video the other word um, which is a very famous Phoenician word is the word Baal which means master God Lord uh, and it's the same in Hebrew um, it also means in Hebrew husband and also in classical Arabic um, uh, this word exists in the formulary that is used for uh, marriage in the Islamic um, words and it's usually said to a woman um, Miss uh, X would you accept Mr. Y as your Baal um, so Baal is a husband also as Lord is God and Master and in common day um, Lebanese uh, dialect or, uh, we say um, uh, land of Baal or that is a land that's uh, not irrigated uh, a land that is actually irrigated by Baal the God of uh, by the God of the rain and um, the sky. The twelfth um, word that we're going to learn today is the um, word shaloh, which means um, send, extend, stretch forth, forth, commission. It's shaloh in Hebrew, it's the same word. Uh, um, in modern day Lebanese, this word continues to exist and it means uh, send or throw. Uh, the thirteen word that we're going to learn is the word Ir, Ir. In Phoenician, it means inner city. It means city in Hebrew. Um, so th then we're going to the word fourteen is the word Hakirt or Hakart. Hakart means the city in Phoenician. The Phoenicians prefer to use the word Kart rather than use the word Ir. Uh, and I think Ir is, was only used once in this um, temple uh, uh, inscription. So the preferred word for a city in Phoenician is the word Hakart or Kart, and uh, we it appeared in this inscription as the Karta Hadashti, the person from uh, Carthage. Kart it means city, Hadash means new, so um, the the new city Kart. Hadasht is the word for Carthage. Fifteenth word that we're going to learn today uh, is the word uh, Zebah. Zebah or Zebah in Hebrew or Zabah in Arabic uh, or Zabah in Arabic. It means um, sacrifice, slaughter, uh, but mainly um, sacrifice in this context of um, uh, the this Phoenician inscription. So this is me for today. I am going to hopefully uh, try to make another video soon about the um, sacred prostitution in the Phoenician word. And then I am going to be um, away for some time to prepare for my um, uh, exam. Uh, this is a new exam. I have passed my, old, my other exam. This is the oral exam. And then I, I hope to meet you again. Um, 
with regular videos starting hopefully uh, June uh, next uh, year. I'm hope to be able to uh, prepare the following video and uh, broadcast it before the end of this year. Uh, until then, um, have a nice time and uh, thank you for watching my videos and uh, may God bless you uh, always. Uh, thank you.